The budget session begins tomorrow, but what is the status of the education sector when it comes to budget allocation? For today's Straight Up by edX Live with me, Mritika Banerjee, we take a look at what the experts have to say. Ahead of the union budget session on February 1st, 2023, education experts point out that certain areas of the education sector need to be given more importance and allocation. To recall, the budget allocation towards the education sector was only 2.6% of the total funding. Referring to the introduction of technological innovations such as chat, GPT, education expert Jay Prakash Gandhi says that at least 6% of the GDP should be spent on education to reskill and prepare students for the future. He goes on to say and I quote, spending on online learning must be increased. Additionally, regulations must be brought in to give education loans for online learning, unquote. Again, a few experts state that not much can be expected from the union budget. Dr. V. P. Singh, Professor of Economics, Great Lakes Institute of Management, Gurugram, believes that major spending has to come from the private sector as higher education is a seller's market with a demand of more than 20 times the available supply. He further states that the union budget for higher education lacks the financial muscle to make any significant change. However, a few industry stakeholders are expecting to see an increase in the allocation to at least 6% of the total central government's budget for the education sector. Niranjan Ardhya, VP, another education expert, laments the lack of implementation of the Right to Education Act 2009 and says this, I quote, Although the RTE was enacted in 2009, responses in Lok Sabha show that compliance to the Act is only 25% at the national level and falls down to 3.1% in a few states." Unquote. An increase in the allocation for the education sector is likely to improve the implementation of the Right to Education Act. Tomorrow's budget will be the last full budget of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government before the next general elections are held in 2024. What do you think will happen? Let us know in the comments below. That's all from us today. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to mask up and stay safe.